Hello, my name is Paula Vassar from Arrowhive's Knowledge Services Department. The goal for this training video is to help get you started using Arrowhive products with Hive Manager Online. So, where do you go for technical resources to help you with your Arrowhive deployment? That's simple. At Arrowhive, we believe knowledge is power, and therefore, we do not make you jump through hoops to get to our documentation. Here are some useful links to find the complete set of Arrowhive documentation, a link to a video showing you how to use the free Wi-Fi Planner tool, which is built into Hive Manager or available for free online, our computer-based training modules, and other Arrowhive videos available on YouTube. Once the Arrowhive equipment has arrived, unpack the box and ensure all the components you ordered have been delivered. Hive APs can be powered using an external power brick a power over ethernet connection on a switch, or a PoE injector. If you use a PoE injector from Arrowhive, the injector must be plugged into a power outlet. The out port on the power injector connects to the Hive AP Ethernet Zero interface, and the in port must be connected to a port on a switch. The Hive AP is managed by Hive Manager Online, so it will need access to the internet. Please ensure the switch has internet connectivity. Before installing Arrowhive APs, please read the Arrowhive Hardware Reference Guide and find the section for your model of AP. These sections will show you the different ways in which you can mount the APs. One important note is that the AP350s have two sets of antennas, one for the 5 GHz radio, used for 802.11a and n, and one for the 2.4 GHz radio, used for 802.11b, g, and n. Please match the labels on the antennas to the labels on the APs. There are 2.4 and 5 GHz antennas on each side of the AP. The six omnidirectional antennas that you can purchase with an Arrowhive AP350 have coverage in all directions in a toroidal donut-shaped pattern around each antenna. When the antennas are vertically positioned, as shown in the picture, coverage expands primarily on the horizontal plane extending horizontally much more than vertically. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please continue on to the next video in the Getting Started series.